I'm an international video game superstar. I'm six foot eight, 37 inch vertical leap, a jawline that will cut, slice, deliver anything that you can ever dream of right to your front door. Nothing but success. Nothing but success. Who oh, no, 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 no. What's going on everyone, Jeremy here from The Quartering and a rare Sunday video for you because there is a interesting theory gaining some traction on social media as to why Twitch terminated the contract of Dr. Disrespect and I will tell you why I think it is absolute bull. However, there is a new streaming platform out there with huge cash backing that might be involved Although even that still seems like a stretch. My position on this remains that what is most likely to have happened is somebody high inside of a, 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 like a big female streamer on Twitch was holding on to some dirt or you know some bad information, requested their identity be protected, and that's why we haven't seen anything. But... Every new piece of information that's come out kind of debunks it. You would think that if this was your standard, um, you know, twit longer scenario, which is what we've been seeing a lot of, that somebody would know and somebody would leak something. That's not what's happened. It's been several several days now, and there's really been no credible. Uh, information out there that I've seen. Now we did see Doc did respond and uh, a curious response, you know, coupled with everything that we saw in his video information that, you know, he, he's clearly figured out live on stream that he was being banned. He writes champions club. Twitch has not notified me on the specific reason behind their decision. Firm handshakes to all for the support during this difficult time. Dr. Disrespect. Now, he just signed like a $20 million contract three months ago. Will Twitch pay that out? I don't know. It's difficult to see. Um, you know, we have had several people come forward and say, oh, well, there's definitely this or there's definitely that from years ago. Maybe when he had his infidelity situation. It's difficult to know. It seems highly unlikely that Twitch would terminate this contract over that. But now, yet another 4chan post um, coming out and it's gaining a lot of steam. It says, Doc Shroud and Ninja were in talks on launching a new streaming platform. We're approached by Spotify under Google. By the way, Google doesn't own Spotify. So this is immediately uh, not happening. First of all, uh, well, Google has YouTube and YouTube streaming is what Google would be promoting. They wouldn't be launching a competitor to YouTube streaming. This first sentence, when I read that, I was like, this is bull. Nobody's going to believe this. But then it started getting a lot of traction. So I'm going to go ahead and debunk that. I do not believe in any way, shape or form that this is legitimate. In order to sign contracts and launch in the coming weeks on Spotify's soon to be announced streaming service. Note, it will be not under the Spotify brand name. Why not? That also seems silly. Doc reportedly approached multiple streaming personalities on Twitch in order to facilitate a platform shift. Now shift. If that happened, I would think that there's a likelihood that a contract would be terminated. But because of everything before this, just being factually incorrect, a simple Google search will tell you that Google doesn't own Spotify, but Doc reportedly approached, okay. Twitch reportedly found out when a streamer close to him tipped them off. As a result, Twitch's legal team currently terminated his contract and is currently filing motions and civil suits. Both Doc Twitch and Spotify are currently undergoing mediation. No one can talk or discuss this due to NDAs imposed by Google. Again, no, Google would not have any jurisdiction to have NDAs imposed on Spotify property. 
Twitch is going full damage control and attempting to drag Google into lawsuits in order to prevent or taint their launch. Again, Google owns YouTube. If they're promoting any streaming service, why wouldn't you stream YouTube, promote YouTube streaming? They just paid a ton of money for PewDiePie and other streamers to stream here exclusively. These will all be filed Monday. Says a former Twitch sysadmin with my two weeks filed because Twitch is about to get hammered by Google. Again, bull. So I feel like, you know, we've debunked that. Um, now there is a streaming platform out there that is throwing a lot of money. They approached me. Offered me a very nice deal. Gave me insane economics to stream there exclusively. However, once I found out they were backed by Tencent, my interest in it seemed to take a huge hit. Um, at, right now, I've turned it down. But, you know, as sponsors continue to drop, maybe I'll just take that money. I don't know. But nonetheless, as of right now, I've turned it down because of their relationship with Tencent. Unless I'm misinformed on that. But this is a company that has buku bucks. All right. Tencent's Twitch streaming plan, planning, ah, streaming rival is hiding in plain sight. This on June 26th. Tencent Holdings is rolling out a live streaming service similar to Amazon, Twitch in the U.S., making a rare foyer into American social media. China's largest company has been quietly testing a mobile-focused streaming network via an affiliate in the U.S. since last Mar or since at least March, initially called Madcat, now banded Trovo Live. I think it's Trovo.Live to go there. The new service closely resembles Twitch in its appearance and functionality. Beyond Tencent's own portfolio of games like Fortnite, PUBG Mobile, Trovo also spotlights, spotlights marquee titles like GTA uh, Destiny 2. This week, it detailed plans on the website to entice and reward creators with $30 million in partnership programs starting July. This I can confirm. They made me the uh, a very, very good offer. Tencent dominates gaming and social media in its domestic market and may be one of the few companies with the resources to challenge Twitch. But the WeChat operator has been met with mixed results in its efforts to build online users abroad and Trovo for now is only an embryonic service. Still in beta testing, Trovo has gone largely unnoticed outside of gaming community. Its best attended live streams have only a few dozen viewers at a time, though its Discord chat channel has more than 5,000 members. It has attracted some experienced creators from Twitch, YouTube, and Microsoft's soon-to-be defunct Mixer platform. Tencent being a backer for mobile creators is definitely a big upside as they run most of the biggest competitive mobile games in the world, said Bobby Plays, a gaming content creator with close to 450,000 subscribers on YouTube who recently jo joined the Nascent service. He's had nothing but a good experience so far with Trovo, though the platform operators haven't directly communi communicated with their Tencent affiliation to him. He added, Trovo says the toss on the website that it's an affiliate of Tencent's without elaborating. The document lists contact address that matches that of the Chinese giant American headquarters in Palo Alto, California. Tencent declined to comment. Tencent has been actively expanding its online streaming assets in recent months, having spent $263 million in April to buy control of China's Twitch equivalent, Hua Inc., and this week acquiring content and technology from struggling Southeast Asian outfit, iFlix Limited. Development of two uh, and testing of Trovo proceeded under the radar at a time of increased scrutiny over Chinese ownership of social media in the United States, which is why I turned it down. Um, it has been the subject of concerns raised by the United States Senator Marco Rubio and, and platforms such as TikTok video sharing service have been used as a tool by the Chinese party to extend its authoritarian censorship. Zin, a video sharing app from Tencent backed, uh, I can't pronounce that, that recently spiked in U.S. downloads, also has been vague about its Chinese connection. So why are they hiding this? All right, that's a big red flag for me. But if anybody is throwing buckets of money at Dr. Disrespect, it's Trovo. If that scenario is true, it's Trovo Limited. I'm sorry, Trovo Live. Nobody else has the money. Spotify, okay, maybe. But Spotify, I don't know. 
I like that a lot of new competition is is coming up for Twitch. It's sad that Mixer essentially failed, but I want more competition for Twitch. I want places where people can go to multiple streaming platforms. That's why I supported DLive in the beginning too. It's not that I don't support them now. And then there's a theory which is backed on the, some of the most ridiculous, ridiculously thin information I've ever seen. Um, Keemstar put out a tweet that said, Brime, a streaming service, happened to be following three of the largest streamers in the world. Therefore, Brime must be the connection. If this isn't a twit longer type situation, it's not with Brime. They don't have the money. Uh, they don't have the clout. They don't have the backing. Uh, and there is one interesting thing. One interesting thing. Now, hey, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe there's some secret angel investor that has the, the money. But as Paul Tassi points out, for Brime to pull people like Ninja, Shroud, and Dr. Disrespect, you're paying them $50 million each. Each. Now, there is some, some interesting information as there was allegedly an announcement that Dr. Disrespect had. The evidence cited here is that Brime is followed following Shroud, Shroud, Ninja, and Dr. Disrespect, and only 15 people in total. But that also includes the likes of Ewok, who just left Mixer, Dr. Lupo, who resigned with Twitch. There's a prepare for the 29th image on Doc's stream, implying some sort of announcement. Okay, so let's go through this quote theory, though it's kind of generous to call it that. He, Paul points out too. First of all, Spotify is not owned by Google. That invalidates about half. So we already talked about that. Now, Brime has a Q&A on the 29th. So people said, this is it. You know, Dr. Disrespect is going to go to a nothing stream platform with really very little backing. Brime actually had a different logo when the account was first created, stolen from a web design company. <laughs> That's, you know, I, I don't, I don't believe this theory. I don't think there's enough to it. If you told me it was Trovo, that I would listen to because they have the actual money. The thirty million is just what they're going to pay out to creators. That's not for exclusive contracts. You know, the 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 money they were offering me, I had to earn essentially but I was going to be able to earn it. I was going to be able to do the dedicated streams. I was going to hit the numbers I needed to. That was going to be easy peasy. Oh, God, I should have taken it. Oh, principles. Anyway, uh, so I think we will hear more on Monday, uh, almost certainly. But at this point, even Slasher points out, anonymous Reddit posts, 4chan text, and Keemstar. Don't believe everything you read on the internet. Now, Rod has uh, been very accurate as a as a reporter in this he also claims to know the real reason so if you're willing to take that jump if you believe that rod knows the real reason which i believe he does um then him coming out and saying this kind of uh vague no no don't believe this stuff i think that's also further proof that this theory isn't what it is i think i'm hoping we get some actual answers on monday to figure out what the heck Twitch is up to. I'll be interested to see your comments in the comment section down below. I wish the best to Dr. Disrespect, at least currently. Uh, hopefully this is a business thing and not a uh, horrible man being bad. Uh, but we'll have to wait and see. Doc has still said that Twitch has not informed him. So I don't think, by the way, I don't think it's an elaborate publicity stunt. I don't think that people would react well to that. Um, if it is, it's idiotic. Um, I, I don't believe that they would have went so far as to refund subscriptions and do it. I don't believe that. I believe this is real. Something real happened. Uh, we'll have to see Monday. Hope you enjoyed this video. We'll talk to you again real soon.